Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're looking at Lianzhe, a real estate and rental agency in China. Let's check it out. Lianzhe is one of the most prominent real estate and rental agencies in China. And you'll see a lot of their offices around. Lianzhe uh, with the green sign. Uh, they're the ones with a big green sign. They also have a website, lianja.com. Uh, it is all in Chinese, as you can expect, uh, but it's pretty well laid out and quite easy to navigate. They also have an app as well that's for iPhone and Android, but again, that's all in Chinese. If you know Chinese, uh, then you will be able to navigate the site pretty well. Uh, but what I do is I've got Google Chrome and that's got an automatic translate feature and that's what I use. So I'm not going to be looking to buy a house in China, either a new house or a second hand house. So I have used Lianzhe before solely for renting. Uh, you can do an option where you search for rentals. It's the third option across and what I would do is I would have the Chinese characters or even the English uh, because it does translate to from pinyin to Chinese uh, to search for the area that I want to find an apartment. Uh, so this one I'm looking at Longang uh, in Shenzhen on line three and all the apartments in that area and you can select by you know the rent uh, if it's one bedroom two bedroom uh, etc and then you can kind of scroll through and have a look at the pictures and kind of get a general idea of how much something will cost uh, to rent the whole apartment and also what's it included in there as well now from here uh, you can actually use the app and you can use the website to contact the, the brokers that are dealing with this, this particular property. Um, but it can be difficult. I don't really know Chinese, so I, I actually prefer to do it in person. So what I'll do is I'll probably go to that area and I'll you know take some screenshots of the particular rental that I'm looking at and I'll show it to them. And hopefully someone in that office speaks English or there's going to be someone there uh, that can uh, ask for someone to be sent over that can speak English or will both navigate uh, awkward interactions with our uh, translators uh, on our phones. Uh, but this is just one way that you can use to rent property in China. Uh, and it's a, a website that you can easily navigate with Google Chrome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Bye-bye.